Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth and I am a teacher in California. I'm so excited that you're here. This video is going to be all about how I created a distance teaching workspace using a couple of items from Office Depot. So they are sponsoring this video. Thank you Office Depot so much. <sighs> the space that I have now is like a breath of fresh air. It is organized, clean, inspiring, and it allows me to be hands-on and engaging. So whether you are a teacher, administrator, parent, yes, this does apply to you because some parents are having to teach their kids from home. I wanna share some practical money-saving tips with you that can hopefully help you create a similar space as we all, and I do emphasize all, navigate this global pandemic. Before we jump in, I wanna share with you a few things that I considered before I created this space. Number one, I needed a space that had limited distractions. So I chose a space in my environment that um, it was quiet, there weren't external noises. Um, I knew that when I, when I went to this space, there wouldn't be any other distractions. So think about a space in your environment, whether it be your home or garage, that really eliminates distraction for you. So the second thing I would recommend you consider is to create a space that's comfortable but not too comfortable. You don't want it to be some place that you go where you sit and relax and um, kind of have that temptation to get too cozy and zone out. You want it to be a place that you go to that is inspiring and productive. So I do have a comfy chair down here, but I also utilize my standing desk all the time to literally just stand up. Sometimes I'll, I'll pull it up and I will just walk in place as I am working just to get that blood flowing to my brain so that I don't get that teacher tired. That, uh, that is a real true thing that we all get. So that's the second thing. All right, the next suggestion would be that you have really good lighting in your space. You don't want it to be a gloomy space. If there's natural lighting, great, but you might consider even investing in a couple of um, LED lights for yourself so that when you're in the space, it's light, it's bright, and it's inspiring. All right, last thing I wanted to share before we jump into a few resources here that have saved me as a teacher uh, would be to have all of the resources that you need at your fingertips. At any point in time, I can turn around and grab a stapler or a marker or spin the wheel or whatever I need, a flare pen, whatever I need, it is literally at my fingertips. That way, when I'm in this space, I can be my most productive self. I don't have to go into another room to grab something. Um, everything that I need is right here. And then when I leave this place, everything stays here. It doesn't roll over into my living space. This is my workspace, that is my living space, and there is kind of this line of demarcation, if you will, between the two spaces. Okay, so with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you a few resources that I've received from Office Depot that have sincerely changed my life as an online instructor this year. I am so thankful that I have these resources. They allow me to be hands-on, engaging, have an environment that I really look forward to going to. Stick around, check out these resources that I received from Office Depot. So I don't know about you, but I am a super animated teacher. I am constantly pointing and dancing and moving, interacting and engaging with my students. And while we all are using Zoom, being able to have the space to move around and to have a standing desk has been a total game changer for me. So Office Depot sent me this standing desk it's actually a sitting standing desk converter. So there are two handles on either side, like little, um, what are they called? Like little squeezy, oh my goodness, what are they called? Latches, squeezy handles. We're gonna call them squeezy handles. So they're like little squeezy handles that allow you to extend the desk up, which is great because it's literally that easy. But then if you're done with class and you need to maybe sit down and do some grading on your, you know, get off your feet and do some grading on your computer, you literally just squeeze and push down and then it latches. Make sure your chair is out of the way so that it goes down all the way. But it basically goes all the way down flat and then when you're sitting in your chair, you can just 
basically hop on your laptop. So, so easy. So the desk is basically something that sits on top of my other desk. I love it too because if you have a large monitor, dual monitors, um, or an external keyboard, you can utilize all of those pieces on the desk. And if you raise it or lower it, they can stay, they stay safe and secure and because it's such a smooth transition from standing to sitting and sitting to standing. So I will link this down below. Something else that has been an incredible resource for me to utilize has been Office Depot's printing services. They actually will print and ship it right to your house. So you guys, I create anchor charts like these. Um, these are ones that are interactive, so you just use sticky notes. I also got those from Office Depot. But you basically just write on the sticky note. I use the sticky note and I just kind of put it in front of the camera. We talk about it. Sometimes I'll put it on a whiteboard and write, um, get some feedback from the students and write the answer. And then I just stick it here. They are big enough and bright enough for my students to see in the background. And the printing services are wonderful because it literally ships it right to my house. It's my favorite thing ever. Another one of my favorites from Office Depot, especially for anchor charts that are large like this, um, is their super sticky post-it pads. Cause you can basically draw out your anchor chart or you know, anchor chart or if you're writing notes down for students as well. Um, and then you can just tear this off. It's sticky on the back and you can just literally stick it on the back wall for reference in the future. So that's it. I hope you found some really practical tips and strategies. Hopefully you saw some resources that you might find helpful and useful in your space. Please do me a favor, comment down below with maybe one tip or resource or strategy that you use to make your space at home, whether you're a teacher, administrator, or parent, a more comfortable, more inviting, more relaxing, more productive, I would love to hear from you. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.